Well, hello, kids. Guess who this is? This is Santa Claus. And I'm going to read a couple books to you today. And I hope you guys are getting ready for Christmas. And remember that Christmas, two things happen. You get gifts and you give gifts. And uh, you also, Santa's got his list, remember? Who's naughty and who nice? Well, it, it's, it's not too late. So if you think that you might be on the borderline, you ought to maybe do some things for your mom or your dad, like maybe help with the dishes or uh, sort the clothes or put the clothes away or do the laundry. Well, here, I, I wanted to read some letters here I got from some kids. And here is a letter. It says, Dear Santa, thank you for all the presents, especially the knitting needles and balls of wool. They are just what I need because I'm sick in bed with a cold, but I'm not bored because I'm knitting lots of squares. My mom showed me how to cast on and how to do plain and purl stitches. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, knit a square with different colors in it. Love, Samantha. P.S. I hope you had a gr good Christmas, too. P.P.P.S. Can you knit? P.P.P.S. How are your reindeer? This one says, Dear Samantha, thank you for your lovely letter. Hundreds of thousands of children write to me before Christmas, but I don't hear from many of them after Christmas. I'm sorry to hear that you are not well. Our littlest reindeer is ill, too. He has a runny nose and a bad cough. Mrs. Claus and I are taking turns to keep him company at night. P.S. We had an excellent Christmas. A snowy owl visited us on Christmas Day. No, I can't knit. My mom never taught me, and Mrs. Claus has forgotten how. Isn't that a pity? Samantha in March. This is three months after Christmas. Samantha writes... Dear Santa Claus, I hope the littlest reindeer is much, much better. I've sewn the squares into a jumper for him. Perhaps it will keep his chest warm. I hope it fits. On Sunday, we went to the zoo. I couldn't see a snowy owl anywhere. I said hello to the polar bear, but he just lay there with his eyes shut. I think he's very unhappy. Dad says our weather is too hot for polar bears. When I got home, I put on three jumpers and my hat and scarf and gloves, and I lay in the sun for an hour. Now I know what it feels like to be a polar bear. Love, Samantha. And P.S. What do snowy owls look like? What other animals are there in the North Pole? Perhaps I should teach you how to knit. Uh, and in April, a month later, Santa writes back. The jumper fit perfectly. Here is a special thank you from the littlest reindeer. He's quite all right now, thank goodness, but I don't think we'll let him pull the sleigh again next Christmas. He catches cold too easy. I haven't told him yet because I know he will be very disappointed. There are lots of animals here in the North Pole. Mrs. Claus and I often watch them, and she does drawings of them. One of our favorites is the Arctic fox. In the winter, its long, thick fur is pure white. It has furry feet and a bushy tail that keeps it warm at night. Love, Santa. P.S. I almost forgot. Snowy owls have white and brown feathers. The baby owls are white and fluffy. How is your hot polar bear? <laughs> I would love to learn how to knit. In May, this is a month later, she writes, Samantha says, Dear Santa, I loved hearing about the Arctic fox. I wish I had a bushy tail to keep me warm in the winter. I visited the polar bear again today, and he stared at me without making a sound. It's late, it's late autumn here, so he no longer is hot. But I'm sure he's worried about next summer. I wish they were something I could do to keep him warm. What do polar bears eat? The littlest reindeer is going to feel very left out. I'm busy writing a book for you. I'll be called How to Knit. Easy peasy instructions for people who know nothing about knitting. There it is a little bit later. Santa writes to Samantha. Dear Samantha, today we saw something wonderful. A polar bear taking her cubs out into the snow. They tumbled about and rolled roly-poly down the slopes. 
One of the cubs was very adventurous and went exploring on its own. Wow. And, uh, but the other one kept close to its mother bear. Mrs. Claus did some terrific drawings of them. We pinned them all over the house, so now we know we have bears everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Polar bears eat meat, usually seals. Sometimes a bear will visit for hours near a hole in the ice waiting to catch a seal. I know you're right about the littlest ranger. He will feel left out, but he's still not strong, and we are very worried last time that he was so ill. I'm looking forward one day to receiving your book on how to knit. Samantha writes, Dear Santa, it's the middle of winter now, and I'm hoping for snow, but Mom says it hasn't snowed here in 20 years. So she's helping me cut out paper into tiny pieces. Then we emptied buckets full of paper over our heads, and we had our very own snowstorm in the house. P.S. Are there any birds in the North Pole? Mom says in the South Pole there are emperor penguins. As soon as a mother penguin has laid an egg, she leaves it for the father penguin to look after. Because there is no nest for two months, the father penguin holds the egg on the top of his feet to keep, keep it off the ice. Once the egg has hatched, the chick sits on the mother penguin's feet. And then in August, we have a letter. Dear Samantha, the emperor penguin is an amazing bird, isn't it? Imagine balancing an egg on your feet for 60 days. Mrs. Claus and I tried balancing a, a ball on our feet, but we didn't last 60 seconds. I'm very glad I'm not a father penguin. There are lots of birds here, puffins and terns and snow geese. The snow goose doesn't balance eggs, but it's still an incredible bird. Early September, it flies almost 5,000 miles nonstop to a warmer climate. Then in May, it flies back to the North Pole again. Love, Santa. P.S. Mrs. Claus and I are starting work on this Christmas toys. P.P.S. I still haven't told the little reindeer that he will have to stay home this Christmas. Dear Santa, I, I'm not a snow goose. All that flying sounds like hard work. I'm such a lazy bones that I even want Dad to carry me up the steps to bed. Although it's still only spring here, uh, the weather forecast said we are going to have a hottest summer ever. Do you think polar bears can dream? Love, Samantha. P.S. I know you and Mrs. Claus are busy making toys, but I hope you will still have time to write to me. P.P.S. Please, please let the little reindeer pull the sleigh again this Christmas. Dear Samantha, I told the littlest reindeer that he couldn't pull the sleigh this year. I tried explaining to him as because we don't want him to catch another cold and get real sick. But he doesn't understand. He thinks I don't want him because he's not as big as strong as the other reindeer. I wish I could think of a way to keep warm during the long journey. Love, Santa. P.S. I'll never be too busy to write to my favorite pen pal. P.P.S. I'm sure polar bears do dream, especially if they're kept in a zoo. I'm not promising anything, but I will try to make your polar bear summer a happier one. This is a short letter from, this is from Samantha. This is a short letter. Here's some really early Christmas presents. I hope Mrs. Claus likes the paint box and you like the knitting book. Wow. There's also a special present for the littlest reindeer. The scarf, woolly cap, and booties will keep him as warm as toast, especially if he wears his jumper. P.S. All I want for Christmas is for the littlest reindeer to be happy and for the polar bear's dream to come true. Merry Christmas. This is December. Dear Samantha, what a surprise. Thank you for the lovely presents. Mrs. Claus is delighted with the paint box, and I'm going to start knitting soon. The littlest reindeer keeps jumping for joy. He will be the snuggiest, warmest reindeer ever to pull the sleigh. Love, Santa. P.S. Mrs. Claus and I hope you will like the drawings of all the polar animals. Put them on your wall, and it will be as if you were at, with us 
right in the middle of the North Pole. PPS, why don't you visit your polar bear on Christmas Day? We are bringing something special for him, something that will make his dream come true. A merry, merry Christmas to you. Well, that's the story for today. Let's see what else we got in the way of a book to read. All right. Goodbye.